say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, Grace and I are getting the morning started. That's fun to touch, huh? That's a cool texture. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down, enjoy some more time with Grace before Steven takes over and uh, I get into some work stuff. All right, just wrapping up the editing on Vlogmas number one. I'm gonna get this scheduled and then I have a main channel video from my editor that I'm gonna review and then like send notes back on. Then I'm gonna film a six month postpartum update, which I think is gonna go live as like Vlogmas number five. Today, Grace is six months old, which I just cannot believe. Like six months has gone by so incredibly fast. So I'm gonna sit down and just film kind of like a chat. Oops, my memory card was full. Camera stopped recording. I forgot to format it after after filming all the time lapses decorating yesterday. Um, anyways, yes, I'm gonna film the postpartum update. And then Jess is gonna be here around noon and she and I are gonna go do a bunch of shopping for the Big Bear trip this weekend. We're putting together gift baskets for everyone. I already have a lot of the stuff here that I ordered online, but there are a couple more things that we wanna get at Target and Bath and Body Works. And then at Costco, we're gonna get some food. It's really just mostly snacks that we're gonna be getting. I actually hired a chef to come and do all of the cooking while we're in Big Bear. They sent over the menu and it it sounds like incredible, but I thought hiring a chef would be like a cool thing to kind of pamper everyone. And also it just makes it easier for us not to have to worry about meals. We can really just relax and do some creative brainstorming and just celebrate a good year. All right, now time to get that work done so uh, we can go shopping. All right, just finished filming the postpartum update. I have two packages that I wanna unbox real quick before we go. First thing is Alicia Marie sent me her Vlogmas merch and I am so excited about it. So here's what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Vlogmas class of 2021. That's so cute. Then we have her Vlogmas. Is it a, I think it's a quarter zip. Oh my God, cute. Yeah, it's a quarter zip. It says Vlogmas and like the varsity lettering and then 2021 on the sleeve. I'm so excited to wear this. Actually, I think I'm gonna wash these with my laundry today before we go because I wanna wear this tomorrow. And then also the matching sweatpants, cute. With the matching lettering down the pant leg as well. This is so cute. Super cool, super cute. Gonna wear those tomorrow. And then the second package. Can you tell what it is from the red stars? It is my red Taylor's version vinyl. I am so excited about this. Look at it, it's so pretty. <laughs> also, Spotify Wrapped came out today and apparently I'm in the top 1% of Taylor Swift listeners. Humble brag. Um, actually though, I think last year I was in the top 0.5%, so I'm slacking a little bit this year. I think I listened to, to more Olivia Rodrigo and so that took a little bit of my Taylor Swift time away. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. I have most of her albums on vinyl, but the thing is my record player actually broke, but I wanna wait to buy a new one until after Christmas. So I don't even get to listen to this yet, but I do get to look at it. So <laughs> that's fun. I also ordered two uh, other things from her merch store. Those haven't gotten delivered yet though. I got the all too well scarf and then I got a long sleeve. So whenever those get here, I will unbox them with you guys. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start my laundry, fill up my water, Grab my purse, who's calling me. Hello? Uh, I think you have the wrong number. No problem, have a nice day. Looking for a guy named Phil. Don't know how you got my number, but I'm not Phil. All right, I'm gonna start my laundry. I'm gonna fill up my water. I'm gonna grab my purse and we're going shopping. All right, we are on our way to do the shopping for the Big Bear trip. Jess is driving <laughs> and we're freaking out because we just drove by like this new little complex that they're building and there was a sign that said sweet green and I love sweet green, but there are no sweet greens in San Diego. They're only in LA here. Jess also loves sweet green, so we're freaking out. I start Googling. Apparently it's opening in early 2022. So I'm stoked. I love sweet green. I, I try to recreate their salads all the time at home but it's just never as good at, oh, I perfect Christmas present from Sweet Green to me. <laughs> Anyways, first stop. First stop for the shopping is Bath and Body Works. We made like a little Google survey for everyone who's coming on the trip. And one of the questions we asked was what everyone's favorite scent is. So we're gonna pick out candles for everyone to put in their welcome baskets. Cinnamon spiced vanilla for Ryan. She had said she likes like brown sugar, vanilla, campfire apple cinnamon. And that is like this candle too. To a tea. Okay, vanilla bean Noel for Rachel. So we've got Rachel, 
Ryan. So my favorite scent is sparkling icicles, but they said they actually didn't bring it back this year. But the woman showed me a bunch of scents that like are kind of replacing that scent. This one, Winter Cabin, is one of the ones she showed me. I think I'm gonna get this one for myself. This Frozen Lake one also smells super good, kind of similar to the sparkling icicles. So I need to find one for Kenzie. Jess still needs to pick hers. Kenzie said she wants like fruity and floral. So let's see what we can find. Okay, after smelling probably a dozen candles that I think classify as fruity and floral for Kenzie, I think we're gonna go rose water and ivy. <laughs> All right, Jess, what's the decision? It's called Mahogany Balsam, and I'm gonna be so surprised when I opened it. <laughs> So we're doing 12 hand sanitizers, six in Frozen Lake, and six in Champagne Toast in there. So we'll have one for literally everyone coming, uh, team members and plus ones. Add the last one in there. Last one. Doot. Thank you. Success. <laughs> We've got the big bag. All right, next stop, Target. All right. Thank you cards. I like the floral ones, but they don't really fit the Christmas aesthetic. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get these anyways, cause they're cute. Oh my gosh, this Target has one of like the redone beauty areas. This is so cool. They have a whole mask bar. So we're gonna pick 12 of these for everyone. Okay, we're gonna do six. Is there six? No, there's only four. Okay, just kidding. Okay, yeah, that's good too. Cause it's gonna be so dry up in Big Bear. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six of the ultra hydrating masks. And then we're gonna do six of these cleansing ones. Six cleansing and six ultra hydrating. <laughs> if you know, this, you know. <laughs> this is what my dad requested as his snack. <laughs> to be fair, Wes just said cauliflower. He said cauliflower, so while everyone else is getting like chips and, yeah. and candy, my dad is getting a head of cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we are getting individual snacks for everyone. That was another question we asked on the uh, Google form. So we can put everyone's favorite snacks in their rooms when they get there. So Wes, this one's for you. We're definitely not gonna need to go to Costco. We're getting pretty much everything here. Really the only things we haven't been able to get is like the individual chip bags because at Target they only have the big chip bags here, but they might have those at uh, the exit or we might stop at like 7-Eleven on the way home. Okay, so now we're looking for the actual basket to put the gift stuff in and these are so cute, but they're just too small. I wish they had these in a bigger size. Maybe they do, we'll keep looking. These ones look really like the perfect size and I actually have a couple of these in my house and they're like the perfect little multi-use basket so I feel like people will actually get use out of these so these could be good everyone's getting little merch packages too but those are in their own box all right we're going with these ones it'll be one per room so six boom very nice all right success all right, back home and currently in the process of assembling all of the gift baskets. So we have everything laid out, everyone's requested snacks, all of the other goodies that I'll show you guys. But these ones we still have to like assemble and put together and make look nice. This is our example one. This is Kenzie and TJ's, so I'll show you here. We have the candle, two pairs of red fuzzy socks for everyone and their plus one. The thank you card, which is it's currently empty. I'm gonna write these tomorrow. My favorite Glossier hand cream. Another one of my favorite Glossier products. This is the rosebalm.com. Two hand sanitizers. These are the Target Stars Above joggers. These are like my favorite lounge pants of all time. So I thought these would be a good thing to give everyone for like a nice cozy cabin weekend. That's another thing we asked everyone on the Google form was their sizes. We have their requested snacks, the two face masks, I also got everyone the Fabletics snug strap slippers in their favorite color because these come in like a bunch of colors. These are Kenzie's. She wanted burgundy and they're just like super comfy, fluffy. Again, I thought these would be nice for lounging. And then in the merch box, everyone is getting, it's all wrapped up so I don't want to <laughs> take it out, but everyone's getting the Banty, the Self Love Club crew neck and the Confident and Kind beanie from our new winter merch collection. So yeah, Jess and I are gonna finish packing these up and then it's already like 
4 15 i cannot believe how fast this day has gone by but in like 15 minutes or so we're gonna wrap up and me steven and grace are actually gonna go and pick out our christmas tree which i am so excited for it was like always one of my favorite memories around the holidays was going and picking out the tree with my family so just really really excited to do that with grace i'm hoping we can get out before sunset so that we can take a family picture picking out our first tree but if not honestly it's fine i'm just i'm really excited to do this so uh yep yeah, let's let's get to it all right just pulled up at the christmas tree lot i changed into this red sweater that i thought was like slightly more festive but still comfy also i'm alone we took two cars actually technically we took three cars here in order to fit the tree in the back of my car instead of like tying it on the roof which is what steven thought the best option was we put all the seats down and just laid a blanket down there which means that there's no room for the car seat so steven drove in his car with grace so that's two cars and then jess actually drove here as well she's gonna take the family picture for us and then she's just gonna head home from here so three cars but we made it are you six months old and gonna pick out your very own christmas tree <laughs> Nice Old Navy boys section. Oh, yay. <laughs> That's a boy sweater? It is a boy sweater. Say yay, mom. We love the bargain. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, I love it. Yay. All right. Let's pick a Christmas tree. Okay, Miss Grace. It's your job to test all the trees. Tell us which one is perfect, okay? So Grace was enjoying touching this one. Uh, I think this is gonna be a little bit too tall. Yeah, so, so what do we say? The house could fit in the living room, eight foot. House can fit eight feet. Most we can fit in the back of my car. You measured is six one. Yeah, so to fit it inside the Lexus, because we don't have a roof rack on either car, is gonna be six feet. So we okay. lose two feet just to accommodate a trivial transfer. Maybe next year we'll uh, get a buddy with a truck or something and do something bigger, but. All right, so we gotta go to the six foot trees and you can tell us which one speaks to you. So yellow tag is six to seven. Oh, so you have to measure it. Yeah, so it either have to be the really small six or seven or it'd have to be a really big five, five to, to six. six. I mean, this looks like a good tree. This looks, yeah. Now, what do you look this, for? This is a good Douglas fir, I have no idea. Douglas fir is what we always got. I am strictly a fake tree kind of guy. What do you think? What do you think there, Christmas girl? What do you think of this Christmas thing? A yeah. six foot tree for our six month old? What? One foot for each month of your life? All right, so we just talked to one of the guys who works here and we're telling him about our dilemma <laughs> of tree size. Yeah, like, oh, we got this tiny little tr trunk and he's like, oh, we'll tie it on. He's yeah. like, I don't need a roof rack. He said it's actually easier without a roof rack. So yeah, we'll give we don't, we could get a bigger tree. We could still stick with like the six foot cap. But I know you really wanted a big tree. I think we can do closer to seven. Not a bad side on. Awesome. Thank you so much for your help. All right. We got our tree, Grace. We picked our tree. It's about a, a seven foot, seven two, I think they said. Douglas fir. All right. There she is all tied down by the professionals. <laughs> Looking good. Uh, I'm sure Steve did not touch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. We could have gotten a bigger tree for sure. <laughs> this is way less intimidating than I thought. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. Do you smell that fresh pine scent? Gracie, say what the heck is a tree doing in the living room, mama? And here is the ornament box. Okay. One at a time, ready? Oh, this is the new one. It's a rocking horse, a rocking giraffe. Baby's first Christmas. Yeah. Okay, so we just pulled out the ornaments and we were gonna start decorating the tree. We realized we don't have enough lights for the tree because our fake tree is pre-lit. We also realized we don't have a Christmas tree skirt and because this tree is much bigger than we've ever had, we wanna get some filler ornaments, which means. Emergency run to Target. I think we're gonna go to Target. Go to Target already today with me. Wait, you went to Target today? Yes. I went to Target today. <laughs> this is about to be our third collective trip to Target. And we're all wearing red, I don't know. Tis, <laughs> tis the season. <laughs> all right, we are back at Target. It feels like so late to be making a Target run, but it's literally only 6.15. I think it's because it gets dark so early, it just feels later, earlier too. But usually Grace is like, her bedtime's like 7.30. Her bedtime routine starts at like 6.45. I just stubbed my toe and it's bleeding. Oh, wait, actually, oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh. All right, quick detour. We got Steven a Band-Aid. Yes. <laughs> R.I.P. your pinky toe. That looks like it hurt. 
I definitely lost a like non-trivial amount of skin, so uh, <laughs> it's just sort of bleeding a little more than I anticipated. So I'm good. This is where the wearing flip-flops for every occasion becomes uh, detrimental. <laughs> Lots of cute tree skirt options. I personally am drawn to like the Christmas classic plaid because it makes me nostalgic for my own childhood. I also like the like pink and red with the white pom-poms or the gray and white. So if you're not feeling this vibe, I'll give you an executive decision. All right, I'm going with this. And then according to the internet, we need about 600 lights for the height of our tree. So I think three of these 200 pack boxes and they twinkle, that's what I like. Good? Yeah. All right. And then I'm thinking for, this is kind of hard to grab one-handed. I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, I'm thinking for filler ornaments, this is the best fit of what's left. The pickings are kind of slim, but best fit for like our classic Christmas vibe. All right, I need to put the vlog down because holding these and pushing the stroller, not gonna happen. All right, you ready? We're going home. I walk into the house and the first thing I notice is the smell of Christmas tree. I forgot how good a real Christmas tree smells. It just fills the house. So it is seven o'clock on the dot. So we're only like 15 minutes delayed on Grace's bedtime routine if we start it right now. So we're gonna give her a bath, her bottle, bedtime story, and then put her down. And I'm not sure if Steven and I should just go ahead and decorate the tree after she's asleep or if we should wait until tomorrow. Would you like your toy? So that she can be part of it. Put number one on the tree. Oh yeah! We gotta do the first number on the Christmas tree. It's December 1st. Okay. Would you like to hold it? You got the little bird. Good job. Very nice. All right, we gotta stick it on the tree. Where should we put it? How about here? Very good. All right, little girl, it's bedtime. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for this vlog. We are gonna go ahead and save decorating the tree for another day. A, because it's getting late and I have some more work to get done. And B, because even though Grace is only six months old, you know, she's only gonna participate so much. But regardless, I, I really want her to be part of it. So we'll probably do that tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it'll have to be when we get back from Big Bear because in literally like 36 hours, we are doing the Big Bear trip. So <laughs> we'll see. But but uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Baby, this